Did we ever talk about that one guy who's crying over Star Wars? Which guy? The guy who became kind of like a meme for crying over Star Wars. Oh wait, when's the trailer? And he's like, because ah, ah, he's so excited. I, I, yeah, I think he just became a meme because some guy like said he was a loser, and then <laughs> like that guy got a bunch of shit for saying he was a loser because they're like, let people like things. And then the movie came out and it was bad. That's the only one I didn't care at all to see. After the Last Jedi, I stopped caring. The last one is like I, I know it, about it. I it's know there's actually like, there's like insanely of Snoke. like there, he's like in jars and shit. <laughs> yeah, they put I, Snoke in a jar. <laughs> but yeah, no, I I wonder if you are seen as the guy who cried at the trailer for a shit movie. If you double down and say the movie is good, or if you just like feel like an idiot when you realize it's bad. Here's 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 my thing. Look. If that's your reaction, I think that's a little bit abnormal to react to something like that. But but if you're reacting like that in the privacy of your own home, who cares? I, with those guys, I never understand why you would upload that. <laughs> I don't. I th those are the videos that like all of those people. I imagine them watching the video back and like editing it. And, yeah, like, that's like, really weird to me. I cannot sympath. I I don't understand how you can look at yourself like. Freaking out or crying or screaming and then put that online. Yeah, I that I I'm not sure if that one in particular was was a uh, a Stream or not the one that really blows my mind Have you seen that that video of that guy in the green Power Rangers hoodie? Do you no. know the one I'm talking about? Maybe if you go into it more where he uh He got like outed as like he was like doing some shit with like a 15 year old girl and he oh, made Basher. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's another example. That's exactly what I mean. That like, video, I cannot fucking fathom. That's what I'm saying. How I that I video got from like recording to like upload. He also took it down within like five minutes. Yeah, I, I those I don't get. I don't. I never said it was the fucking victim. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> I remember PewDiePie was getting ISIS death threats at one point. Are you kidding me? What did he do? Uh, nothing. <laughs> He's just PewDiePie. They they just didn't like him. Yeah, they're like, he's, he's not this fucking good. That he's is not play. even close. <laughs> play more Happy Wheels. It's play more like, Happy Wheels, yeah. Dude, ah, uh, there was, uh, PewDiePie? I like PewDiePie. I like PewDiePie now. I didn't at the time, but the guy has grown on me. Same. I like PewDiePie. Yeah. I remember the, the day I realized I like PewDiePie was when he uploaded a video of himself driving around in, in a shitty beat-up car, blasting music that said, PewDiePie is a pedophile. It was like the funniest thing I ever saw. <laughs> I was like, God damn, that takes balls. Yeah. <laughs> or, he, or he's just celebrating something he wants to tell the world. Uh. Is Jack a common Irish name? Uh, probably. Wasn't that the green one? He's the only Jack I know. Except for Jack, except the guy. There's Jack O'Lantern. And that's not even his real name. Yes, it is. No, his name's Sean. Nope. Chris! What? You can't say that! Don't dox yes, uh, I can. YouTubers. Sean lives at 742 Evergreen Terrace. <laughs> <laughs> Springfield, USA. Good lie. What would you yeah, guys do fair. if you looked at the moon and a la Majora's Mask, the Zelda game, you saw a big human head in the sky? I'd like it. If it was a big ball of human head, I'd like it. If it had, like, shaggy hair, I'd hate it. <laughs> yeah, that is shaggy, really the line. <laughs> and shaggy hair and a big, like, gross beard. Yeah, no, you can't have that. If you had, like, it's a peanut be butter nice gamer smooth. beard, I'd fucking oh, shoot oh, oh, oh. a nuclear missile into it. Oh, like, <laughs> so, peanut butter gamers called me, you heard that? <laughs> I want to skip the third one because I think it's kind of lame. But we should do uh, oh, the no. new ones are, are co-op. We could have two people playing. No them. one wants to play with you, Law. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's kind of mean. I actually do want to play with you, Law. You should have said that. That, that was like a that was a little joke for the channel. I hope no one reads God into that. God damn it, Lyle! <laughs> you know they're going to. <laughs> I'm going back to this gong to ring it. I'm a little crocodile ringing on a gong, <laughs> ringing on a gong, ringing on a gong. That's almost as good as, uh, Diggy Diggy Ho Ho. That's my little Diggy Hole parody. <laughs> what? How does that one go again? Brothers of the land, rejoice, swing, swing, swing with me. Raise your shovel, raise your voice, swing, swing, swing with me. Yeah, all the way on the right. Diggy 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 Hole. <laughs> I dig a hole and then I dig a hole, sorry. Did you just need the behind the scenes where one of the guys puked from stress during the filming of that? Yeah, because he was slapping everybody. During... Yeah, well somebody slapped his hairy belly and he puked out all his lasagna he had for lunch. <laughs> 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 yeah, I remember that. Oh fuck, that's gross. He was like, but it's... <laughs> 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 yeah, it is. That is gross, you're right. 
Oh, good point. <laughs> Somebody sing a diggy diggy hole and puke it. Puke hell is on you. That's pretty foul, nasty. Dude. <laughs> I've got a sore throat from laughing. The guy oh, it's okay. It's funny. Nobody, <laughs> eat, uh, nobody touched that. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a whole, they have a whole orchestra there. They have like John Williams and... <laughs> if you're talking about a bunch of dorks standing in front of a mic... <laughs> They're just trying to have a game. Yeah, one pukes at lasagna. Yeah, which one? Editor, uh, he, editor. Does, he does have maggots and tapeworms inside of his puke, too. <laughs> maggots <laughs> and tapeworms? <laughs> Fuck! Toma? I mean, it can be, if you- if you want to, like, be a completionist, Ooh. but... Like Gerard the completionist? <laughs> like Gerard Butler. Oh. Uh. He oh. completes every film he does, and he also completes his penis inside of his wife's beautiful, loving vagina. <laughs> it's none of your business. I, I know, but I'm just saying, I can imagine Gerard Butler going, I love you, babe, and filling you with... Warm. Ugh. Warm. Hmm. Hmm. I, I already regret bringing up Gerard Butler. It's a pretty <laughs> stupid joke. <laughs> they just have the same first name. Look at that. I'm not gonna play this game as a completionist at all, but... But I will collect and all these cute your star channel man. Name. Beard mode activated. <laughs> Tony, it is you. That's just a different guy with a beard who has hair. Okay. What? <laughs> all right, buddy. Tomer tries fooling us again. Guess you uh, don't trust us. Yeah. You think you get that cheap wig and all of a sudden you're a different person? <laughs> okay. Chris, your, your, your YouTube username pro Chris does not live up to its expectations. <laughs> you are Fuck no. Off. You are, you are no pro. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Pro Zay- Pro Hadel. <laughs> pro Hadel. <laughs> pro Tomar. <laughs> hey, it's just Promar. Pro Prolapse. Yo, Dorkly, make a video oh, where, where Mario's like, Why is he throwing me the one thing that kills him? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's that's a good jo fucking joke. That's a good joke. <laughs> oh, he's killing me with the one thing that I threw to him. Uh, again. <laughs> that, that would be good. Uh, you should, this it's is, like how Michael Phelps would be like, seriously, it's just a fucking mash cartoon swimming. waiting to happen. And like doctors will be like, you, you seriously need to cut this shit out. And yeah. it's like, he's fine because he swims so much, but then the second he stops, it's like, oh man. Yeah, he's gonna be like punching his chest and like eating, eating Tums and being like, fuck. <laughs> that is like a shitty mash video. Yeah. <laughs> it's too real for a shitty, like the fat part maybe. <laughs> I, I don't I don't think they Oh yeah the match videos are always like and then he like kill everybody yeah, and then they he like murder murdered them, them. and they cut the slits their throat he slits their throat and gouges their eyes out Yeah and, and Mash can't just write a story without characters being like brutally murdered at the end I don't understand well, it's actually funny. Funny. What if Dorkly did this instead no, Dorkly writes about mundane things. Yeah, they, they, would, like they a, would have him like punching his chest and I eating honestly thumbs. would prefer Dorkly over Mash. I would too. That's well, high praise. I what, know. what is Mashed again? Mashed is like, they make better looking videos, but with like, they hire more like talented writer. people, but the writing is just the most horrendous dog shit I ever did here. I have worked on hair. <laughs> I hate it. I genuinely don't like it. And they made so many Sonic like parodies and cartoons that are just so unbelievably dumb and awful. Christmas, uh, we should look at more 3D stuff. It's funny. Look, it's Squid Game. Now this is the shit I have wanted to watch my whole this, life. This is like actual content farm no, stuff. No, it's not. It <laughs> no, this is someone's vision. No, it's not. This is someone's artistic Did vision. Did it just Toma. go? <laughs> Wait, go back! Go back! Go back! <laughs> Oh, hello. I swear it did the like Mortal Kombat toasty before that. <laughs> toasty. Okay. Okay. This shit is creepy. Like. <laughs> content farm shit this is scary. Is, this is evil, like Eastern Bloc content farm stuff. <laughs> this definitely came from some former Soviet country. This is from, this was made in Belarus. This, this, uh, this I always video. figure these are made in China. What well, Mario does? No, every sound effect is like randomized. I swear to God. <laughs> what was that scream from? That was like a real torture, piercing scream. That's like know. a Plants vs. Zombies character. <laughs> so annoying. Uh. It is Christmas, though. She's so lifeless, that little character. It's just the Squid Game, like, like, robot. Yeah. I've never seen Squid Game. Uh -oh. This is better than Squid Game, though, I heard. Sonic Speed Simulator. So last time we played this, Corey, we what? called it a copyright strike. Wing Dude, down. I cannot. This is modern day cringe. I cannot. Is this really this is where you game. point and laugh? This is this is a whole channel where the guy sounds like this. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. This is next level. 
This one's not good. This is bad, but I favored it because it's the most annoying thing ever. Does she have a million views? <laughs> it, you know how you guys were talking about subjecting to just like things that are popular and just noise? Yeah. This is like a, this is that. It's not quite on YouTube kids. Dude, this is we have minions, we have Shrek, this we have Squid Game, children. we have Minecraft, we have yeah. Minecraft, yeah, this we have like SpongeBob, like, we have Minecraft. This feels like AI, this actually feels AI generated It is me. AI generated. I kind of wish companies would crack down on these and be like, you can't use our fucking in character. Today I'll be joining <laughs> <the> <laughs> 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 Isn't this, uh, what's his name? Quibble Cop or something? Yeah, this is Quibble Cop's <laughs> secret Tomer, channel. I just Tomer, want anyone to know about it. This is the worst possible content in the world. Yeah. Like, like, this is insanely, like, annoying. Like, wait, I can tell real. already. This is genuine dribble. Like, this is actually shaking keys. It's just wait, pandemonium. Our kids are lost this anymore. Now. We don't have to watch this. But look, something good happens right here. Holy smokes. It does. You did it. I'm glad you, you know. The suit. It's right over there, buddy. In that what? big building. You see the box? Yeah, of course I see the box. It's massive. <laughs> yep. All right, go okay. get it. Holy smokes. Okay, this Why is does he look like the Werehog now? Because that's what he is. It's a GTA mod. Where everyone's Sonic, Sonic characters. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was that thing before. It's Sonic in the top it's left. It's gonna run up to him, buddy. I'm a flipping werewolf. I'm a lot stronger hey, than you are. Da, 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 da. What was that? Oh, Yo, check out this little box. It's like, it's, it's so <laughs> nonsense. I know, it's like, uh, you guys laugh. I laugh when they're in pause it. I laugh when characters go, like, when they're like, bruh, ah. I laugh at that because that's like so, that's just like so insane that my brain can only laugh because nothing else is happening. What am I supposed to feel distressed from that? No, it's funny. You're supposed to but feel this, fight or flight. I, feel, I, yeah. I, I don't feel any fight or flight. I just cringe when I watch people who are like, "Fuck God, it meet the Sonic Team family." That's They're modern definitely day cringe. making content for like eight, eight to like but six I hate to eight that year olds. Excuse, no, I know, I know, that's I know the you're excuse. not saying that. I, that's what they were saying. I also like, love those videos. Kids are kids, so kids bad. Are, that kids are that by babies them. though. Kids are not babies. They can handle no, anything that condescends children. I don't really. I don't like. know what this is. <laughs> you ever seen that video of the Indian dude uh, singing the song, uh, like the song he made, but it's like really poor English, and he's like, "Oh, that's D that's Danny. It's D four N and Y." Yeah, and he's like, "Some like, people say that I am a waste fellow," and like, is that the one where he's like, "Goodbye to the people who hate it on me." Yeah. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> If you ever see something Whoa. that's like inspirational video of blah blah, it's like, I think literally like, like 19 times out of 20, those are, those are very staged. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I saw like the fakest fucking video of my life the other day. What was it? It was like this guy that was kind of like a Fousey tube type, but I don't, I, I don't remember who he was. And he, he had this video where it was like, it was like he, he was giving a seminar and he like walked in and there was only one seat open and it was like next to this fat woman and this guy goes like I don't want to sit next to this fat horrible bitch <laughs> Ugh! I can't take this! And then uh, Just, those act are so just, fake. just and, acting and, and, like and, no uh, one would ever act in public yeah. and then it's some 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 person like white knighting for them Yeah and then <gasps> so, some guy behind them is like Here, you can take my seat I don't mind sitting there. And then he's like, I put money under somebody's chair. And then like the guy, of course, who fucking sat next to the fat woman got it. And he's like, this is my fat friend. And I put her in the audience to see who was pure or just something stupid like yeah, that. Yeah, it, it's 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 weird, like very like, I don't know. <laughs> like clearly all of it is fake. It's very exploitative though. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I hate people that make stuff like that. That guy literally had to like go on like Craigslist or some shit and look for a fat actress. Yeah, be like, need so he could fat virtue signal woman <laughs> actress. Yeah, and then when the shoot's over, he's like, "Oh, you're fat," and walks away. Like <laughs> that's even worse if it's true because then he was that's like, probably closer to the reality than anything <laughs> depicted in that video. Yeah. He was oh, like slow motion. This hey, is cool. Oh. Hey, Carrie, you're fat, right? Do you want to? Do you wanna? Um, do you wanna be my fat friend for this yeah, video about how people, this... how much people hate the fats? Yeah. Do you wanna be in this video <laughs> like centered around how vis visibly repulsive you are? I'm gonna say that it's bad that people find you gross, but you know we gotta acknowledge it. I, I don't know. It just sounds shitty. Like that's a <laughs> shitty ask if that's his actual friend, but I really doubt it. I really do think that is the reality behind the scenes of anything like that. It's like. They, they, it's always made in the most cynical possible way by the most cynical people.
I saw Minecraft High School in real life, and I swear I saw their knees bending. You saw Minecraft High School? Sorry, there's so much I want to know about this- this- <laughs> Minecraft High School in real life, okay, episode what is two. That? It's a guy who's like, oh my god, he's, his hands are like in front of the green screen, and it looks like he's in Minecraft with his real creepy person hands. And his mom's like, get out of bed! Gotta go to school! It's like, okay mom, I love you! And he goes to school, and he flies around, and then he meets the girlfriend of his dreams, Jenny. And then, he, get, he tries giving her a note, but she walks away, and then, mm, for bitch. some reason, she, she somehow gets the note that he didn't give her, and she throws it back, and she says she likes him, and the episode's over. Fuck, dude. It's fucking epic! So the next episode, you eat your pussy out? <laughs> I fucking wish. <laughs> Little Minecraft pussy? Yeah, I don't think- Is that, you the, fly is that the flying Columbine blowers? You can't make jokes about Columbine yet! Okay, Does this game e exist in the universe where Columbine happened? Jokes yes. about Colin Bryan. It's where little shrimp is, is that like Hero Brian? Yeah. It's Hero Brian right out of the school. <laughs> now it's where a little Brian shrimp colony got massacred. Minecraft High School. <laughs> I fucking God. love Minecraft High School. Do you want to go there? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I wish there was Not a real Hero Brian's go. <laughs> I wish there was a real high school. He's like the that. bully. Oh, well, I get a real Minecraft High School. Or some Minecraft school in real life. It's a good YouTube video. Well, sign me up. I've already recommended it before. And he was also the first time I realized <laughs> always look like. <laughs> Yeah, for the most they part, they do kind of have a look. Yeah, every time they never look like George Clooney. Every time there's a sex offender, you look at him, you're like, "Yep, okay, makes sense." <laughs> no, there, there was definitely there was like a guy who was like a YouTuber, and and he he had like he had like blue hair and a pink beard. Like he had oh, dyed yeah, his yeah, beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like it was, like, it was like streamer. You didn't even have to tell me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know he looked foul. Yeah. <laughs> you ever see those videos of, like pickup artists where they're in the street with like a hidden camera? I'd love to see Dr. Eggman, a guy with that guy, that guy's build, <laughs> talking to a girl. I want to be a fly on like, the wall Venice watching Beach. Dr. Eggman uh, he, speak he to a woman. He would absolutely be in Dr. a cringe Dr. Eggman goes on Venice Beach and tries to talk to a girl. Do you remember that, do you remember that, um, that one guy who was like trying to talk to the girl and she was clearly like sad and he kept being like, What's wrong? Oh, I hate oh, that, that video. That, that's, that's, the that's, guy. that's a classic. Isn't that's that Robotnik. The, that's the guy see? who, uh... See? Don't get too excited, boys! They didn't even change. Wow. They didn't say guys or anything. Come on, Sega team. Are you talking about the video where the girl is on the steps? She's and the guy's like, "What's wrong, baby? <laughs> What's wrong? You want to kiss crying? me?" Yeah, he's like, yeah. "You want to kiss me, right?" I she, think that was the guy who poured all of the Starbucks on himself. Who was that? Which guy is that? He's like the king of cringe or something. Is oh, that, that, was that, is that his real name? That's was what his it, username you is? You see that video where he tries to go up and talk to like Ice Poseidon? Yeah, it's the most fucking insanely well, annoying I, video. Here's what I would get, because also there's like TikTokers that do this. But the point is, I was gonna say like, I, I watch like, uh, you know, I go Cringetopia, it's a good little collection of uh, freaks. But on there, <laughs> but on there, so this one gets posted and then people are like, well this person's obviously joking, but like the King of Cringe guy, he's like, no, it's a bit, but it's like, why would you voluntarily act like a fucking yeah, moron? Yeah, I don't care if it's a bit, you're an Yeah, asshole. you're still acting like an asshole. So, YouTube Comedy Week was coming out, right? And I remember they were like, we yeah, want yeah, you yeah. to- God, I forgot about Comedy Week. Josh came to me and we were like, we want you to do a video YouTube for Comedy YouTube Comedy Week. Week. And I was just like, I was working on potato salad anyway, right? So I was like, uh, I've got a big comedy sketch coming out that I think is going to do pretty good. And they were like, okay. So then, yeah. YouTube Comedy Week came out. <laughs> And it was so badly organized that it, it really annoyed me at the time because they, they weren't really keeping in touch and uh, their watermark broke or something. It was all this weird shit, right? And then the YouTube, the YouTube Comedy Week promo came out and it was like Harvey Weinstein, the good Epic Meal Time guy. Holy well, boy, Harley, all the stars are here. Yeah, Harley yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm Harvey, Harvey Morenstein. Welcome to YouTube Comedy Week. Hey, my name is Sarah Silverman. Welcome to YouTube Comedy Week. Hey, my name is Smosh. Welcome to YouTube. It was like the stupidest, wow. shittiest video ever, and it had stupid Kevin McLeod music over it. And I was like, what the fuck is this? How are they fucking this up so bad? And then when the fucking, uh, the actual show itself happened, it was like the biggest fucking disaster I in the world. I remember it was a bomb. Everybody, it, everybody, even the people that participated said a bomb. The only funny thing that came out of it was Norm's, like, red carpet event. That, that is still... Because he was shitting on yeah, it. It was, he was so just making fucking fun of it. He said these are like sweatpants and a sweater. Yeah. And they're literally going, I roll down the app, don't download the app, and he's going, no, don't put your credit card on that. <laughs> he's like fucking with the ad reads and stuff. What's his favorite movie? His favorite movie is, uh, Rats 2. There's a Rats 1? Yeah. What? When? It got cancelled, but yeah, they they were making Rats was, 1 and it got... Was Rats... Uh, is that like Cats, but with Rats? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it, it, I just, in my head, it was just like a knockoff of Ratatouille. It was in production hell for 14 years and then they cancelled it, but Rats 2 came out because they sold the rights to it. Dude, that Germa guy, he should make that We're the Rats, but make it into like Cats. And have a whole play about We're the Rats. 
I really like We're the Rats. Uh, everyone freak. How could you not like We're the Rats? <laughs> it's like genius. Rats. Rats. We're the Rats. The biggest one is my favorite. I'm the giant rat <laughs> who makes all of the rules. This is the funniest shit. I don't know why. <laughs> I always thought the funniest thing was just like one day I woke up and I and then it was like Shane Dawson was t trending on the internet. I was like, what, what, what happened? And then it was just a video of him going, listen guys, I did not fuck my cat. And I was like, holy fuck. Now it really looks like he <laughs> fucked his clarify. cat. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. And then the headline's always gonna be Shane Dawson denies fucking his cat. <laughs> and you're gonna see that headline and go, Oh, he did that! Like, the fact that it's even something you have to say, it's like, what the fuck? There's some or people that are so ironic. good at faking cringe, like, to who's that girl you showed me that, uh... I don't know, but they do stuff for- there's another comedy group called, like, Churdly. That's it. Oh, yeah. I love Churdly. I love yeah. Churdly, too. Churdly and, uh, there's another- there's like a comedy- there's a guy with him. There's Churdly and Sir Spencer, there's someone else. There's, fuck. uh... Joel Haver? Joel Haver's good too. Oh, Joel Haver rocks, shit. yeah. But, uh... I think I just game over. Corey found this kid. Uh -oh. Corey found this kid. He's like the funniest fucking YouTuber I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I can finally say his name, Jack Pop. Yeah. Yeah, Jack Pop is amazing. He, and he he's literally... Oh, do we have to start the all the way over? Yeah. What, really? Oh, no, He makes Lyle. the most schizo, like, Zoomer shit, but you it's so it. fucking funny. Look up Jack Pop. He makes these... This is literally like... Okay, the kind of humor Jack Pop is, is like the kind of, like, schizo TikTok humor you expect, where it's, like, perfectly timed, cut off shit. It's shit it's I would literal, generally hate, but it's, he does it so funnily. It's perfectly timed. It's Zoomer humor at its finest. And like, he this guy this, like, is a fucking king. Green screen. That's so good it's as well. So good. Yeah. Look up Jack Pop. Like literally everything this kid makes is amazing. He's multi-talented uh, too because he's an animator as well. It, it's the classroom one where they all start doing musical. Oh shit. god, that's so funny. The classroom and the father being like disturbing the kid with a fucking painting. Yeah. Where the kid's like, I want to show you this picture with my undivided attention. And he's like, I'm trying to do business. <laughs> it's good. Well, it's you really gotta funny. Watch it. Yeah, Anyways. look up Jack Pop. You ever watch Adam Ruins Everything? Every time I'm on Facebook, I see an Adam Ruins Everything, and every single time it pisses me off. I've watched a couple, I can't remember which ones, I've watched a few where I've known a little bit about the subject matter, I'm like, that's not true. And no, he, he's, he lie. he just makes shit up and he omits stuff, he's a complete asshole. You know what he ruined? What's what Everything. My respect for him. Mm. Oh, fuck. You know what he ruined? What? Uh, a movie that he said was bad. <laughs> Wait, he ruined the movie that he said was bad? For me, yeah. Uh, did that really happen? No. <laughs> <laughs> there was one he did where he's talking about Mount Rushmore. He's like, Mount Rushmore isn't even finished! It's like, so what? <laughs> wait, wait, it's not- Were there supposed to be bodies on them? Yeah, was that yeah, the there idea? Were, yeah, there were supposed yeah, to be bodies. It's like, all the rubble at the bottom is there from when they made it! It's like, so, and? Yeah, so what? It's, wait, why can't I scan okay. guys? I'm so tired of these fucking remakes, or just Why? like Disney like shitting the bed. Because the bed's starting to smell like Ursa Fatty fucking laid in it. <laughs> <laughs> you decide if you want to cut that <laughs> That's out. That's just funny. Keep that in. <laughs> Man, I really do love that. Uh, everyone had an idea of him from that iDubs thing. Yeah, it's, he's it's like, oh, he's so charming and he's so wholesome. He managed to make that go away pretty quickly. Yeah, and then then that <laughs> Jesus, he's holding dude. his shit up to the camera and like beating up women and shit. He's like, yeah, I'm just airsoft and he's then, tossing <laughs> shit at random people. And then there's a part where he gets so mad he like he like clips his arm into the door frame and smashes it off in Hulk rage <laughs> just by walking through it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's because somebody took his fucking chug chug, Fortnite chug chug away. <laughs> I guess Which I one of the three main score. characters do you think would be the most likely to, uh, like, gain rapid, rapid, rapid amounts of weight from eating Look, two like, on, on, on YouTube? <gasps> uh, I think probably Tails. Wait, what are we saying? I no. was just thinking, no, I agree, I was just Wait, thinking. Wait, what were you saying? Like, which character between the three do you think would be the most likely to, like, have rapid, insane weight gain from doing YouTube, like, muck Tails. videos? Tails. Yes, I agree, dude. He, okay. Chris, I'm, gonna Chris, I'm gonna tell you right now, Tails, yeah. they, they actually did something on the Sonic channel where they had Tails' stream, and it's clearly a gateway into, like, mukbanging, where it's gonna, like, the next thing is gonna upload- He's the next Nico Avocado. <laughs> Nico Cato Avocado. Yeah, he's Nico gonna, Cato, Nico he's Cato. gonna like walk in and like fucking Minecraft Avocado and like start smacking it like... I wanna see Tails, like, when he gets so fat that he's like, then he like breaks the scale with a hammer. Tails, you know what I mean? Whoa, did you call Nick Avocado... <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying Tails would do that. Rotisserie chicken? I'm saying Nico Avocado is not even a person anymore. <laughs> I think legally, legally speaking, legally he's not I'm not a even saying a smear on his character. I'm saying legally. I actually don't remember how to fight in the, this guy. In the, in the eyes of the law, he's not a human. What is he? 
He's he's more monster than man. <laughs> That's true. There's another guy I don't like watching. He uh he knew Review Bra. I forget his name. Yeah. Do you guys know <laughs> I like Review Bra. I love Review Bra. He's fucking hilarious. He just eats like pizza in his suit. Yeah. I love him because like I don't know if you started noticing this, but like his videos, he used to upload videos where he's like Mm, the brand new chicken sandwich from McDonald's, <laughs> but now he uploads videos that are kind of clickbaity and it's almost kind of funny where he'll say stuff like the new ch uh, the new like McChicken is the most disgusting thing I've ever eaten <laughs> and then he'll open it up and then he'll be like has Burger King failed yet again? And it's all just like ruthless like downtrotting of like fucking I, I McDonald's wonder if, I and, like, wonder if any of those companies are aware of him or scared of that They're it's terrified all... of this rat man I, coming I in with a suit like, <laughs> Number five the most Number five, most iconic levels of video game history. Number one. The Number iconic Hercules goat chapel. Number one, the iconic Hercules murder rape. <laughs> In 1997, a woman was raped and murdered. Uh, but I was playing Hercules, so I didn't know. Do you know how offended I was? <laughs> My mommy was murdered behind me when I was playing Hercules. Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you know how offended I'd be if one of my family members was like, murdered and I fucking saw him, heard him talking about it? Number five. Uh, Does he really say that? Yeah, he really no, but yeah, he'll talk about like murders and rapes and shit, but he'll do that voice. It's like it feels a little bit disrespectful. I, I, I I'm not I just even being fake offended. It's just like gee, give a little bit of fucking. I just hope when I meet my <laughs> inevitable early death that I get a mention in a new hot gamer from Mars video. Oh, where he says top ten, literally dead YouTubers. Top ten of my peers that have become corpses. I think I think uh, the thumbnail of that is Ed's World, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. Uh, fucking Gamer from Mars reminds me of, uh, you ever seen Breaking Bad? Of well, course. yeah, you have. Of course. You know Todd from Breaking Bad? The fucking stoner guy? No, no, Todd, the, uh, the, the, like, Nazi, um, the, like, Nazi oh, psychopath oh, 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 dude. The, yeah, the season five guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The guy who, yeah, like, this, this Well, well, yeah, 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 well, spoiler alert. Oh, yeah, for right. A, for a five-year, five-year ended show, yeah. But, uh... So, go on? No, just Gamer from Mars reminds me of him. You know, for, for, for Mars reminds you of the guy you shot <laughs> the Breaking Bad? Yes! You know, Elvis is actually still alive. That's a common thing that everyone knows. Do you know they stuffed his Elvis corpse Elvis is not only still toilet? alive, but he runs a YouTube channel, and it's called The Gamer from Mars. <laughs> Everybody go look it up and you will see that Elvis Presley is still alive. What are you talking about? I'm not <laughs> I've seen people on YouTube that take like old Game Boys and like clean them up and fix them. I love those. Dude, videos. I love watching videos of yeah. people taking like an old and you see rusted a disgusting thing. knife or something. Yes, yeah, and then yeah. they fucking like yeah. they put in like wow, I don't know. Like, that was, that good. was like, yeah. acid, and then they like Aww. burn it all Did off you... and make it all fresh again. You, you watch... see that one guy's channel who makes a knife out of anything? Like he'll make a knife out of like cardboard. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Of Actually, hand. if we're talking about YouTube <laughs> channels that are really interesting. There's this guy I watched, Jeff recommended it. He eats nothing but MREs, and he's been eating MREs. Memories? MREs. He's eating memories. <laughs> MREs. There goes your birthday. What, what, there goes what do, your wedding. What do, oh! what do MREs stand for? Like military? I don't think I hit any bill. Uh, military ration. ready. I think I ration? skipped the bill. Ration edibles. Damn it. Military oh, ration yeah. eats? Eatables. Eatables. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Edibles. There you go, everybody. Change the Wikipedia. So but the guy, right. the guy, the guy. Okay, so this guy, I'm not really calling him out, but he eats MREs. What but are the, those? But the th they're it's like military, military oh, meals. It's exactly. I ate that when I was a kid, and or we tried to eat it. And yeah. It was so fucking hard. To this chew. guy, but this guy is a fucking. He's like a legend because he eats these like old MREs from like 20 years ago. That's like the insane. crackers are like falling apart. Why would you do that? But he has this like. He's like, okay, I'm gonna pour everything into this uh, this the cup. This coffee's still a little. This coffee's still good. He'll drink this like thirty-year-old coffee, and he's just like, they just don't make it like they used to, and it just looks like tar water. It's fucking, it's insanity. But I don't know who this MRE guy is. If you if you look up MREs, he's probably the first thing you'll see. His videos are great. But he eat, he used to eat American MREs. Now he eats like Taiwan MREs. He eats like uh, Korean MREs. He's MRE. eating so many different types of MREs. Oh, MREs? No. MREs. MREs. Oh, he, he's no. eating so many MREs. Seen that? Have you guys ever seen that channel, uh, Townsends, of that guy oh. who, like, like does a bunch of, uh, like, 18th century American living? He, yes, like, I love that yes. guy's channel. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah, Watch yeah. out. That's you getting fucking red pill, dude. <laughs> that's you, that's you all watching Paul Joseph Watson. <laughs> 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 Imagine my shock. 
Hercules, I can't do it. I'm not gonna be trying. Oh yeah, I have, I I genuinely forget what he sounds like. Hercules, only... the original soy boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to get over there. Well, I want to get over there, but I'm right here. You got one option. Well, <laughs> the gay the gamer conundrum. You want to get over somewhere and you can't? Yeah. Do I have enough? Imagine this. You're a gamer and you want to be somewhere, yeah? but you're somewhere else. Oh, what are you gonna what do? What are you then? gonna do? Well, you're gonna jump. That's right. I that, swear that, to God. That's like the start of a fucking video essay about, about the history. The, after you <laughs> say that, you have like some music kick in. Yeah. This is the history of jumping in games. Oh, the top 10 jumps in fucking, video games. They wouldn't say top 10, but yeah, just the, this is the history of video. This is the history of jumping in video games. Two to three, Ryan Burr. Let's go back to the year 1979, where it all started. Look at this guy. This guy, this guy made everything happen. Guys, I'm a game critic, okay? <laughs> I was watching You gotta some... listen to everything I say, and it's also a religion. Yeah. Can, I, can I really quickly uh, have like a little bit of a gamer rant here, just very quickly? A little gamer rant? Okay. It's not game related, but it's just kind of a gamer ass rant. I, I, I don't like the idea. I like a lot of video essays on YouTube. I think it's a great format to get an idea across. But I don't like the idea that just doing a video essay means you're right. And, and what I mean by that is, I don't know what's saying that, but putting like jazzy music and like going, here's what I mean. Like, I, I think I think it gives a bad opinion a lot more legitimacy if you if you if you put it. Oh, totally. I saw There's... I saw I saw a video yesterday called like the Sam Raimi Spider Man movies were actually pretty fucking bad. I was like, what? And I clicked it, and like, no, like the third one's not very good, Maybe and the first like one's fun. No, the first and second, one, but like. One of the was one of his examples was like uh, that scene in the first movie where Spider Man's in, in the cage with the wrestler guy. And he's like, "What? What? Who made that costume for your husband?" The the, the, the guy's like, uh, "This joke does not age well. It's homophobic." It's like, <laughs> it's like dude, Spider Man's not homophobic. He's making fun of the guy because the guy's homophobic, and he's like, yeah. "Don't call me a fucking woman." What a fucking loser! But I was just like, dude, that's not a valid for you. Don't even that's a nostalgic thing. Like, you, you don't you don't, you don't oh. even get the joke. What about that scene though in in Spider Man Two wow. where Spider Man joined the Westboro Baptist Church? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that I, one kind of didn't age you know, too great. You know, when Saban Raimi had had uh, Tobey Maguire say the phrase, "If it's gay marriage first, when when is bestiality going to be legal?" <laughs> I thought hmm, maybe that won't age very well. You know, I saw I saw a pretty angry uh, reviewer on the internet going, "The Simpsons movie, my problem with it. Oh, what a load of trash." Did they really say that? So yeah, like take that Green Day. Who said that? I don't know. Some guy probably. Angry Simpsons fan. Some dude. I would watch the Angry oh, Simpsons fan. It, it, it was a video titled "The Day the Simpsons Died." Oh, oh I've seen see those that. lately. I've yeah, seen the day they SpongeBob, they SpongeBob died. Too, yeah, oh, no, you I, that? I was making that up. No, that's real. <laughs> that is real. I mean, I would. That's Israel. Was... What are these? Like lizards? What are, little, uh... what are these things coming out of the ground? Dude, I don't know. That's human flesh, dude. I'm gonna be doing an AVGN thing where I'm oh, going. Like, I, I actually don't know what that is. I'm not what even is, trying to be like the oh, nerd. What is this? A flying piece of shit? No, I'm not doing that. I'm telling you, I really, I really don't know what the fuck that is. Oh my god, I was in bed last night and some video auto-played. Oh I, no. I want to be mean, but god damn, it made me angry listening to this guy. I don't even know who the fuck it was. What was, what was the video about? Some guy was bitching about Call of Duty. I don't even know why it came on. I don't talk, I don't think about Call of Duty. But this guy started complaining about it and he kept saying something like, uh... Guys, I'm not even joking. I'm not even doing a bit. I'm not, like, he seriously said that like 50 times in a row, so it was like, okay, you're clearly fucking doing a bit now. You can stop. But he just kept doing it. He kept saying like, I'm, like, this is me being Chris, are you doing a bit? No. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. And I'm gonna stop now. No, no, no. All I'm saying is... Uh... Ow. <laughs> can I ask you guys something? What is it? I recently went on a trend because I was interested after watching. You'll see it if, if you go to my favorites. There's like this like creepy video where it's like 3 a.m. challenge where like you know these people stay up till 3 a.m. and get bombarded by like Poppy Playtime monsters and stuff, and they do really bad green screen. I think fucking Moist Critical did one about a guy, but like it, it's basically like the 3 a.m. challenge. Have you ever seen any of those kinds of fucking videos? No. It's like a new breed of YouTube. Out with fucking Ella and Spider-Man, in with 3 a.m. videos with popular children horror games. Is, like, the idea that they're, like, trying to convince kids, like, I really saw Freddy yes. Fazbear. Yes, it's full-grown adults, like us, in our late 30s, fucking, or early 30s, let's not throw each other on the bus, but, like, it's us in our 30s, as if we were, like, 
You have like Freddy, Freddy Fazbear's on the phone. He's like, hey, I'm coming to kill you. And he's like, oh. And then they use like the Among Us like, boom, <laughs> sound effect. No. And they use and all they, that they shit. They say this happens if you stay up till 3 a.m. Till 3 a.m., yeah. Which I don't think is very true. Have you seen the Chubby Bunny Challenge lady on YouTube? No, what's it's, that? It's two big fat ugly twins. Oh, I should have said that. That's mean. No, no, no it's two big. Again. It's two big fat nasty ugly twins on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a video. The chubby, the chubby bunny challenges. You say chubby bunny and you stuff marshmallows and shit in your mouth. I know what the chubby bunny, bunny challenge. Yeah, yeah. There's a video of, of two women. <laughs> who are like 478 pounds each, and they're going. Chubby bunny, chubby bunny. And it, yeah, it's just it. You ever see a picture of Chris Farley with it with uh, this phone coming out of his mouth like it's an egg? His dead, dead picture, the picture yeah, of yeah, his, that's his that's corpse. What, that's what it looks like. Yeah. If Homer was my dad. Yes. Homer's like daddy of five. <laughs> no, he's not. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he, he, is. He, is. he is. He is. He is. He would smash Bart into a dress. Remember the episode when he sprayed invisible ink all over Bart and made him cry? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I. You gotta think about content. Have you guys ever seen? Okay, since we're talking about this, I saw a thumbnail like family ne neglecting their children for views, where it's like they, you know, like things that you would actually be surprised like Daddy about. Five. Dude, any not, not so much that, but it's like this woman was like left my kid in the car, almost died, and the thumbnail <laughs> is like smiley faces and crying oh, faces. Oh, I did see that. And, and I was like, what the fuck? Like, how can you? How can you be mentally above the age fifty and think that's good? That's you're insane. Has I, the internet really changed that much? I thought you much? were joking. No, 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 no. That's a real video. There's I think... tons of them, dude. Oh. There's I, like left my kid in a fucking. There was like one where it's like left my kid at the zoo, almost got like eaten by fucking wolves and shit. Well, people like remember Shay Carl? He could have made like a thousand videos, and every video could have been like the happiest, funnest adventures. But it's Doesn't still, it's still yeah. fucking evil. It's tainted like, by the fact that you there, branded was your his children. Family yeah. fake? I'm pretty sure the it's whole thing was evil. fake, wasn't it? No, no. They, they were more than real. It's so fucked up on like Can multiple levels. It's like the, the kids don't have a, a proper fucking privacy. He he exploited them, and also his wife allowed it. It's like so fucked up. Yeah, and also, well, it also like, dude, well, look where all they of are his, now. They're fucking all of his nowhere. kids learned how to like be do like fake YouTube shit from like basically age zero, like. Most people don't even do that ever. Most people don't ever do that. Uh -oh. uh, we were talking about like dumb families who like push their kids for like like there's the Ace family, right? This They're is the, the ones most artistic visual. Go on. I know. I was, yeah, I know. Like spinning flower. Like you could <laughs> fucking put like the emphasis on like I'm Thomas sorry, the Train Engine in that. There was like this woman who was arrested uh, because after they were done like shooting these like fucking like cops and robbers like uh, egg opening things. I don't know what the fuck they did. It's like what do children do? Like what what does Adam's World or whatever the fuck that like Latino kid who like opens eggs and shit like I don't know what they do like I don't know what the kind of shit they do I know it's like caps and robbers and stuff yeah but they like kids opening eggs yeah they open <laughs> eggs in like stupid toys and shit but like they had this family of like a bunch of adopted kids this woman this fat fucking like dump truck ass woman whoa I don't dude, she's a hussy fucker. Like fat shaming? Okay. Uh, listen, no, no, but you said dump truck, is it nice or is it it's like it's no, like mashed this, potatoes this, inside of a plastic bag? No, this bag. dump truck is fucking carrying manure. It's a feces truck. Oh. That's what she fucking is. And she's a bitch because fuck her. I hope she goes to like I I hope she fucking I don't wanna say that. This kinda looks too dark, <laughs> but I, I mean, like, she is a shitty person. No, you know what? Fuck her. I well, explain dies. what she did, because now, now we're just hearing you rail she, against this She order. took a bunch of people from an orphanage, forced them to do YouTube stuff, oh. and then tortured. No, no, I do hope that she. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I do hope okay. she goes to hell. Well, there's like, what happened was she would like torture them and she would starve them and stuff. They ended up escaping because like the locks were like too loose and they ended up like breaking free by like shattering the wow. locks and stuff on the door. And then they ran out, and she had been doing this for like five years. They would shoot a video, then they would get tortured and beat, and then be locked in a room for like a day Jesus. while someone else has to like play the role of the person. Yeah, then I, then I really do hope she... Yeah. yeah, I guess I do hope she... Now that I really when you say torture, through. was it like what? She was like hitting, abusing them and shit? She would like... I don't know if she like burns them. Like she might have burned them on a stove if they were like bad, or she might have like... Oh my god. Like she'd... I don't- I saw this she documentary. She would turn on the stove and then lift the children up onto it? Uh, yeah, she like sit them down and be like, Did you, did you learn your lesson? Thing to do. Anybody that puts their entire family on the internet like that, it makes their children like a brand, and it's all That's fake. Gross. That They really do have the brain Jesus of like Jeffrey Christ. Dahmer or like Stalin. <laughs> yeah, you're a psycho. <laughs> I just don't think they have the opportunity to- They don't, they don't have like the, the they don't tools. They have two left shoes. Let's look up Lyle gets ripped open. Yep. Oh, oh, do you get ripped it, open it, this it video? 
Uh, no, I, I am like talking so. about my loot crate. Those, uh, those, those, those videos where I'm like, I don't, I don't like loot crate. Can I make fun of it? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> cool. <laughs> and then they didn't like it, right? Uh, kind of. <laughs> I think I've told the story before, but like, I think whoever whoever was like, that might be funny. Go ahead and do it. Like, left mm. in like the in between time. Yeah. And uh, I didn't do one for like months, and I was like. I, I was just kind of told it was like ongoing like whenever you want to do one you could do one mm. So I kind of like looked and I just found out they basically like Like didn't know I was doing it so I asked <laughs> to get paid and they were like no So wow. I put like a three minute long like masturbation scene in one of them <laughs> Wait really they said they were not gonna pay you basically for it? yeah I, I mean to be fair like I I didn't do one for like Eight months or something and then that'll do a while It's 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 fair enough it's partially my fault, but at the same time, uh, fuck them, fuck them honkies. But wait, look. wait, 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 do, do we have little goodies or little, or little, uh, or I little, mean, you can't use them in the middle of the level. No, 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 say, do we have goodies in the loot crate on we the have big a, world? We have a mushroom, we have a gamer mushroom. Dick. Use code gamer mushroom to get 15% off your, uh, oh, fuck. Ooh. Whoa. To gamer mushroom. Thank wow. you, thanks, man. Thank wow. you. That's the power of loot crate. That's what happens when you get your new loot crate. <laughs> did, I, did I ever tell you guys about my fucking loot crate story? Yeah. I didn't sign anything, so I'm allowed to talk about it. They what got... happened? Uh, so I. Besides the they, fact that you got a loot crate, you loved all the content yeah. inside. <laughs> well, they, um, <laughs> they fucking offered me a, a deal to do loot crates. God and I was like, damn it. I, I'm not exactly the kind of figure or person to fucking make a, a loot crate video. So I'm like, can I it's make really a good. fucking like sponsored video that's just like generally making fun of loot crate videos? And they were like, yeah, do it. And that was pretty cool of them initially. Yeah. So I made I made one, and it was pretty funny actually. It's actually one of my my favorite videos that I've made. Then I made a second one, and then uh, when I went to make the third one. I, I looked at the comments for the second one because I had to recreate a shot from it and I, I saw in the comments, hey, my code isn't working for Loot Crate and they basically canceled without telling me and oh. I was like, I was like almost all the way through the video so I had one <laughs> joke that was like a little bit too far that I was thinking of cutting out that I hadn't filmed yet uh, and I, I kind of found that out, like, that I God wasn't gonna it. get paid for it after I had made it. So yeah, there's like a joke that's like two and a half minutes of me jerking off into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the funniest thing is, the, so the, the jerking off joke, there is like this Thanos glove that's like an oven mitt. And I said it was a masturbation gauntlet or something. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I just have like this fucking scene of me jerking off to loud opera music. You can't do that, Lyle. <laughs> you well, can't do that! Here, here's the funny twist, is that that might save them in court one day. Fuck. Because that <laughs> Thanos gauntlet, uh, the oven mitt had to be recalled because it was fucking burning through people's hands when they were like taking their cookie sheets now, out now of the oven. Now, did it burn through your big... Come yeah, I shot a fucking thing. hot load and it melted all the way through it yeah. and I was like, whoa, I'm hands. glad I didn't fucking stick this in the oven because that would be like a whole like eight and a half degrees hotter than my ejaculate, made your hands a big which sits at a powder. nice, at a nice 312 degrees. Naturally, your big fat penis sits at a hot yeah. temperature. <laughs> so that's, that's why that happened. I want to see like... I want a Nintendo exec to get obsessed with like fail, or not fail, prank videos on YouTube. He walks into Miyamoto and he's like, you're fired and all of your stocks have been deleted. And then Miyamoto gets so mad he clenches his teeth and they just explode out of his head. <laughs> Can you make the thumbnail for this video just the screenshot uh, with a giant red circle like an arrow pointing to it with a question mark? And it's called like, this video should not even be called Mario Part 12, it should just be like... Please literally do that. You know what was really funny back in the day was there was a YouTube exploit that let, let you like remove people's subscribers. <laughs> Do you remember that? Wait, what really? Do you yeah. Wait, the, wait, wait, what do you mean remove subscribers? There, there was a, a fucking like a YouTube like glitch that when, when you commented something on someone's videos, it lost them subscribers. They did it to the Eric Gamer, and he lost all of his subscribers <laughs> in one day. I, was it commenting? I thought it was something else. I thought it was if you do subscribe to him. Oh, it was that too? No, but people found out another exploit. That, that you know, you're right. It was. Um, it was like two. It was. Like, it was there definitely... was two exploits. You, one you could unsubscribe like and make people just lose like subscribers even though they they weren't really. It was just showing up on their page that they had zero. But there was another exploit that let you, uh, like, fuck up people's comments and make it all highlighted and scary. It was cool. People were just harassing other game over that? Yeah, it was really funny. Yeah, I remember watching, it was like Shane Dawson, all those big guys were targeted. 
But then, yeah, Eric Gamber, for some reason, I think he lost the most of anybody. Like, he, yeah, was, he lost all of them. I think that was the point when he was like the most fucking hated guy ever. It was like, that was like, what, 2012, probably 2013? Well, I was no, maybe, probably maybe, earlier maybe, than maybe, that. No, I might feel like it might have been a bit later, even. Really? It was fairly. I mean, it, it wasn't. Seems like recent. it was earlier. You know, Big the Cat reminds me of Shay, <laughs> Shay Carl, I think. He mean. is Shay Carl. He's definitely a Shay Carl. The room with Shay Carl was worth like. Several hundred million dollars, whatever, because he sold fucking Maker. Probably Baker. still is. It's not like that fucking... money's gonna disappear overnight. Who, Shay Carl? Yeah, he sold Maker. It made millions, millions, millions. So he, I'm, I doubt he spent Who that money. Who was involved in that? It no was offense, him. but Maker's like. Oh. It was what him, Philip DeFranco. There's like that? four or five people that, that made Maker. No, you know what? Fuck you, Maker. You fucked me over. Kiss my ass. Oh, Fuck you. Cor Maker's Cor dead now. Maker's gone. I miss Fred. Yeah, I think when his channel was sold to like a Chinese company, it fell apart. Oh yeah, Fred became a Chinese boy. Yeah. He did. He's like, I'm the new Fred. I'm better. And, and it, it got got double the views, right? <laughs> it got, yeah, it got People way loved less. it even more. That was really weird. <laughs> kind of genius on his part, though. If he's just like, I don't want to do Fred anymore. Yeah, yeah. it is really good. It's like, it's like we'll buy it off of you for one million dollars. And to be fair, like that's he what did... happened to Equals Three too. Yeah. It's really funny. Actually, what did happen in Equals 3? Do you know the story? Yeah, and it happened, kind of happened to Smosh, too. All these YouTube uh, network people were just like, we need to make content for as little money as possible. They really just didn't know. Yeah, Maker... But, uh, I, 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 this especially is, with the animation. I don't think this is like a conversation... Like, this isn't similar to what you guys were talking about with, like, Maker and shit. Yeah. Um, but, like, Maker really... I had just gotten done getting fucked by Machinima. And I, I finally had like Maker there that was like helping me, right? Yeah. And it took fucking forever for like Maker to finally get my account. And then when I finally got it, like they ended up like just removing me eventually because like I don't <laughs> I remember know. that. I remember calling you one day, just being like, Corey, you just put out your new cartoon, but you don't have any ads. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And I'm like, why don't I have any ads? And so, then and so they essentially I, just I, wasted I, thousands of dollars. Yeah, I'm so fucking glad. I'm so glad all of those little uh, what do you call them? MCNs? Is that what they're called? I, I think the yeah, way MCNs. that they're handled now isn't even legal anymore. No, because that I mean. shit was just a scam. Yeah. All of them. We'll take ninety percent of your revenue. And, it, and by the way, if you get hit with a copyright strike, we're not gonna do anything. But don't worry, we'll. Uh, uh, maybe potentially do something sometime eventually. Do you want to know what's fucking hilarious? When I got that contract with fucking Machinima, who's liquidated now, good, so it doesn't matter what Rest I say. Piss. Also, yeah, yeah, he suck my nutsack, <laughs> you fucking buttholes. Because you guys totally fucked me on taxes. I still ended up paying for... Okay, so I got a contract with Machinima. I probably said this so many times, but they wanted me to do a show. And originally I agreed upon it because I didn't fucking know. But they you know, back me. then you don't you don't have any experience, so you just gotta agree to shit. Yeah. It seems like an opportunity. It, yeah, it sounds like I'm on a money. You're like, wow, a fucking few <laughs> grand, holy shit! I, all I have to do is like fucking eight. Should we should we explain? Well, because I, I I don't think it's a bunch of our audience, but but basically, ten years ago when when YouTube was a little more new, it was you know it was still five or seven years old at this point, but there was these things called MCNs. They were like little networks. What they yeah. basically do? They were giant companies. What they would say is, look. Even even if you already had AdSense on your channel, they would say, "Look, you'll come with us. We can make your CPM, your uh, your you know." They, each each thing had different deals, but like Machinima played a played, paid a fat a flat rate, a fat rate and a flat rate. Yeah. But they paid a flat rate of two dollars per thousand views. So that means for every one thousand views, you got two dollars. Which, I mean, so that but but the problem was though. You c your natural CPM fluctuated. Yes. So I realized I was getting fucked, but I was like, wait a minute, my natural CPM? So let's say my CPM was $10, they would keep the fucking eight and go, here's your $2. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So if you, had, if you had insanely, insanely high CPM, it was like, didn't matter, you're getting $2. If Unless you, get... you had a special deal. Yeah, like and, no, Lyle... and nobody did, because they're all 17-year-old kids. Exactly. Lyle, when Lyle was doing Machinima stuff, I, I don't know if you even talked about this, he didn't go through, like, a he wasn't getting paid, like, fucking $2 CPM rating shit. He was getting a special deal because he was doing the Sandy Not Included thing, which is they were paying for. So he was probably getting like the five dollars or something like half of that. There's no way he was only getting two dollars because that that's two dollars was by the way was that was my thing. That was specifically what I remember. That was my fucking awful, my awful deal. Oh dude, and I even, got... and remember like getting out of that was a I'm nightmare. Sorry. It's like you'd email my shit and I'd be like, I went out and it would be like this whole they like dude, tried... their, their contract was like if nothing went wrong for like two years, it would renew, which is completely illegal. You can't make a contract renew indefinitely. That's not how it works in real life. It's been so long since this happened and Machinima is dead. Am I wrong? Yeah, they're dead. But but Who I'm cares? Am, I, am I wrong Fuck when them. when Ed Gold when Ed's world died, was it Machinima that like yeah. Yeah, yes, they remember they, that's why I saying. made the Machinima video. Was, was that ever made public that what I don't they know. did? Yeah, basically when Ed Gold died, Machinima, who he was with, 
fucking like refused to like let him go. They were like running ads and just collecting uh, uh, money. Yeah, on the dead guy's channel. Yeah, By the way, his channel not. was big, you know, and he was like doing well, so he was collecting money. Yeah. And these evil fuckers were just like. And I think we had to, like, email them, is that what That's happened? That's specifically the reason I yeah. made the Machinima videos, yeah. so pissed off. They really were evil, and I think they, they got sued and shit, like... They got absolutely screwed. But, like, dude, the contract stuff was, like, really fucked. Like, I remember, like, everybody sort of rallied together, and that's kind of how they got fucked, is because enough people were, like... Kind we we, we could have gotten way harder. Suit. Basically, what happened was, I think basically, yeah, Chris, you made that video. And that then video I was fucking hilarious. And actually, I remember that we might have talked about this, but they were like flipping fucking chairs over That's when they I've heard about that. Yeah, I, yeah, that, yeah. that told ruined me that them. They were they were they were about to sue ruined, me and shit. Yeah, they tried to, but. I remember no, they Lyle's didn't try. like they, they, they were like, should we? And no, then someone Lyle's was like, like no. Can't. But uh, it, it is just crazy how when, when we started off, we had no fucking idea about any of this shit. I didn't, dude. I was really dumb. I was literally getting paid a hundred dollars a week for animating an animation that was three minutes long. you were long doing all of it every yeah. week. All of it. Yeah, Zach, do you think it. the whole the, the mindset of like being a YouTuber is so damaging? To your brain. It's extremely damaging. And I think families, it's the, Have you ever seen families who are trying to do the whole like family oriented like? I don't mean even families. I, I just mean YouTubers fuck? just thinking yeah, about yeah. analytics and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen. Like, uh, I think the go. best way to view YouTube is like if you have a skill or a talent. Like if you're good at music or if you're good at uh, filmmaking or if you're good at animation or something, you should use YouTube as a medium for your art. If you become a YouTuber, I mean, we've been making stuff for since you know over a decade yeah dude all the youtubers we've seen that got big they've gone away they go away yeah they go it away is, it's a lot it's a joint it's you a can't do fad. it, it you'll, you'll ruin your brain for nothing you can't do the same fucking shtick over and there, over there's even like people who i like like there's I, i'll admit i watch let's players there's certain let's players i really like like me yeah of course i love you chris thanks <laughs> Corey. I, you, you made me stutter because awesome. I was also thinking <laughs> about who it was. I didn't want to say. You're thinking of Chris but, the giant but I, genuinely, love her. I, I genuinely do love you, Chris, and I'm glad you're like we're we're still making the same. It's just like a podcast. It's fun playing games, but it's like you know some people they just like don't learn. They introduce like a new thing, and they're like uh, that's the problem. Like they'll they'll what the, would you look at me, you bitch? God, you fucking idiot. I still think about. There is no escape. I will. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, what is that? You said that. What, what, what was the context again? It was the Spider-Man. I don't oh, know. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, listen, I, I, have, I don't I, even know what you're talking I'm gonna about. I'm going to be honest. I have no filter, and I don't know what I say half the time. It made me lull. Sometimes my brain works faster than I can think, and I just sort of keep it that way. All I'm saying is it should have been on Disney Channel. If it was on Disney's Disney Channel, I'm like, I just won't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, I wanted to say something. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, go ahead, but go before, ahead. okay. Yeah, go ahead. We were, 